About a week ago my lovely wife of four years, and I had purchased shrooms from her brother. It was our four-year anniversary night and we wanted to make it a special one. We rented a suite at a five-star hotel in Cincinnati, it was great to finally be away from the kids, my stepsons and daughter were all driving me insane so I had to find an escape. After we had unpacked from our long two-hour drive, my wife said she wanted to go down to the store and pick up some champagne. I was a little worn out from the drive, so I decided to stay behind and watch a little television. The entire time I could not take my mind of the shrooms, I unzipped the side pocket of my travel bag and brought it out to look at it. I had never tried shrooms before and I'm a full-grown middle-aged man. I used to drink a lot and smoke marijuana here and there as a kid, I also used to pack lines in the 80s a little here and there. But I had never experienced a mushroom trip. I could not stop looking at them, I turned the bag upside down, shook it around. I was on edge I so badly wanted to just open up the bag and just have it them. But I wanted to share the experience with my wife so I waited. About an hour later my wife returned with the champagne and some other groceries. She bought those twisty fruit licorice snacks that we're into. My wife was also a first timer as well, she had never done shrooms. Her brother was a big time drugger, he had been a dealer for years, but my wife was always pretty straight laced, and didn't really get into the whole drug scene. But tonight we wanted to experience something magical. It was getting late, and we were cuddled on the bed watching stand-up comedy on TV while drinking champagne. Both of us were beginning to feel a little buzz from the champagne, I could tell my wife was because she was getting extra giggly. So I thought we should try a little before we both got too intoxicated from the alcohol. I thought maybe we might have a better recollection of our journey. It was about 9.30 pm, I took out the bag which contained two smaller bags inside. Her brother said that would be enough for us first timers. Both of us were a little nervous, we didn't know what to expect. Many scenarios were running through my head, what if I go out on the balcony and end up jumping off I did not know whether I was going to be able to have control of myself during the trip. But my wife's brother assured us that we would be conscious enough to keep from trying anything too dangerous. So we both, almost in sync, ate the shrooms. The first thing we did was cuddle close and watch some game show on the gaming network I had never seen before. At about 9.50 or so I started to feel warm and tingly inside. My face had a very flush feeling to it and my legs felt tingly, it was kind of soothing and a little euphoric. I asked my wife if she was feeling it and she said she feeling kind of hyper but thought it might be because of her nerves. Suddenly the feeling began to get stronger and more defined, it began to creep into my head, it seemed like it was concentrated in my brain. It felt as if there was something separate going on in my head, like there was a separate world there from reality. Like I was now in a different reality so to speak. There were thoughts racing through my mind, and I cannot say exactly what they were. I felt like if I closed my eyes I would see things, I would go into a separate world. I still saw everything clear as day, I could still tell what was going on around me, it was as if my subconscious was growing louder than my conscience and creating a separate reality. I turned to my wife, and said something I cannot remember what it was. Probably that I was starting to feel weird, I remember she had a smile on her face, and seemed very happy. I looked over at the television and noticed that the picture was now pink, like something was wrong with the television set, the colors would change from pink, to purple, to red, to blue. I looked at the people on the game show and noticed that they were all smiling and laughing, it seemed like they were having a good time. Then it was like I could feel their joy, I was in the moment with them sharing their joy. It's very difficult to explain, but I was happy for them. Happy that they had such an opportunity to be invited on a game show, and have a chance to win such a big sum of money, I was happy that they were all having a good time. I felt peaceful, and I was happy to see other people enjoying themselves. My wife began to get very aggressive with me. She started to rub my belly and then she crawled on top of me. She was in that whole take charge mode. I looked up at her face and noticed it started shifting, my vision began to shift in waves. She started laughing and giggling and acting like she wanted to rip off my shirt. She kept tugging at my shirt like she wanted to rip it off my chest, her laughter started echoing in my head. Just like in the movies, I could actually see her laughter like waves. I remember saying what are you doing, stop that, ha ha ha. I pushed her down onto the bed and crouched on all fours over the top of her. I sat there staring down at her for a while, I don't know exactly how long. But longer than normal. I then began to take off her shirt. We began to make love. I remember shutting my eyes as we were kissing. I could see her tongue, when I closed my eyes. Just like it was on a movie screen. I could see it as it moved, I could feel it and see it. Every part of her I touched, I could see it was as if there were cameras on my hands and every sensory part of my body. 
It was very strange. But I could see what I felt. At this point I was naked, it must have been about 10.30 or so. I looked down at my genitalia, and to my dismay it seemed larger than normal. I felt so great that everything now seemed too good to be true. I now began to make love to my wife. As we were making love I began to drift back into my subconsciousness. All of a sudden there was this voice in my head, not an audible voice but a voice I kept thinking about telling me that my wife's vagina was a goal and that I had to reach that goal, I had to try to satisfy it with all my might. I looked down at my wife and her entire body had a strange blue glow around it. It was like a border. I could also see the glowing TV screen in about three different places around the room. As I felt the pleasure of sex overtaking my mind, I closed my eyes and could see bursts of colors thrusting into view. I thought of them as the colors of pleasure. The pleasure was more intense and distorted than it ever had been, and it was mixed with all these other weird emotions. Emotions of happy sadness, I felt like crying. I could feel my eyes welling up with tears. It was a beautiful feeling like I was ridding myself of all these bad emotions through my wife, through this drug. I had crossed a finish line, so to speak. It was beautiful. Then something awkward and unexpected happened, my genitalia began to take on a different shape. It first got kind of distorted on one side and then it became a tree. A Christmas tree, with lights, my testicles were ornaments. It was the weirdest thing. The tree became brighter and brighter. The light began to fill my vision for a second and then it was gone. I had orgasmed. My wife was crying, I asked if she was alright. I'm fine she said, this is great she said. I stared over at the curtains on the windows and they started moving even though, the windows were shut. The walls were melting down but still staying in one place, everything seemed to have a life force all its own, like it had a conscience, like it was feeling, but could take care of itself, that I should just relax and let it be. I then began to focus on my wife, I felt like I could feel her emotions when I held her close. Like I could feel them, and I knew just how to satisfy them. I now became one with my wife, all of my energy was concentrated on her and her alone. Everything else it seemed could take care of itself. I didn't worry about what was around me, I just was completely focused on my wife. I felt like she loved me, the emotion was so strong that it made me cry, I began to sob uncontrollably as I held my wife close. I felt like we were literally sharing this energy, this love energy together. Like we were bonded by it, and nothing else mattered around us. Everything was okay for now, and knew we needed some alone time. Everything new about this it seemed like, and reality was separating so we could be alone. Like the world was stopping for us. We started talking about our love, and our children, and our beautiful family. How when it comes down to it all we need is each other, and how beautiful our marriage ceremony was. How we were truly connected, and how we could not see this connection before. But now we had figured out what truly mattered. All of our fights of the past now seemed like beautiful things, like they were only to protect and guard our love for each other. Now we were seeing our true love and the reason we were together. I remember at around midnight or so, or into the wee morning hours we stepped out on the balcony. I could see the lights of the city glowing, they did not look any different, but they seemed more beautiful. I was now recognizing this beauty more and appreciating it. I looked at the stars and they seemed closer than usual, it was beautiful. We held each other close there on the balcony and I could kind of hear this faint music in my head, it was classical and it made me want to have a toast of champagne for some reason. So I went inside and poured two glasses of champagne. After taking my hand off the bottle I noticed a blue bruise had appeared. For some reason I associated the bruise with blueberries. Afterward me and my wife drank the champagne there on the balcony. And talked more about our future and how wonderful our life was together. It started to wear off, and everything began to seem normal again. Reality began to take hold. My subconscious seemed to get quieter. I started to get back into the swing of things again. There were still faint distortions in my vision but they faded off, and I gained consciousness. It was probably about 2.30 or so. Making love on shrooms was the most fascinating experience for me, it was beautiful.